Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch, and I am back. Sorry, I had to take my earbud out of my ear. I am back for the hashtag 50 stack challenge four. This is the fourth one of these challenges. And so what I do with this challenge is each week I draw two prompts out of my bag and the prompts are already all written down and in my bag, so you can see. Um, I draw two prompts and then the idea is to make one piece of ephemera for each of the prompts. So for example, last week I drew, uh, let's see, 29 was fall. So I made a pocket um, with all kinds of fall goodies on it. And then it had a little mushroom tag to go inside. And then this would go on the journal or in the pocket once it's connected to the journal, you just glue down the, the three sides and then have a pocket on your page and there's the tag. So that was fall. And then the next one was bug or insect, however you wanna say that. And um, so I have my little ladybug pocket, I have a bumblebee and I have a butterfly. So those are my, my insects. You could just use one though, like if you made one tag, um, with a bumblebee or whatever that that fills the um, bug or insect prompt okay so you that's just ideas you do not have to do it the same way I do it you can do it however you choose so we are on 31 and 32 uh, I can't get a hold of just one I keep grabbing multiple <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess we're having to, no matter what I do. So 31 is retro. So whatever that means to you, I, like I've said multiple times, I am not the 50 stack challenge police. You do what you want to do. That'll help you with your journals. Like, you know, give you items that you need for journals. So whatever retro means for to you, that's 31 and 32 will be patriotic. That's very fortuitous for me because I am starting that uh, patriotic journal. So retro is 31, patriotic is 32, whatever that means to you. Um, and the Glowforge won't be on for the rest of the video. Uh, I just am trying to get some things done. So I'm drawing these and I will be right back. Okay, hello, hello, I am back. So what I have for retro is these uh, magazine images of a Cadillac and a Buick from 1955. So I'm going to use those and this polka dotty paper and we're going to um, do one of these kind of like a file folder pocket for a journal. You know, something sim simple. Yeesh. It's about five and a quarter long and I didn't make it very deep because with the tab it's three inches tall um, because these cars are so skinny and long so that's kind of the way I did it so I want to say um, hugs and blessings to Theola Tia and Catherine love you guys thank you so much for joining me all your kind comments and just just being lovely all the way around I don't, I don't know what I would do without you guys you're so sweet always and I really appreciate it because there's days man <laughs> you know you know the days we all have them so thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, really appreciate you guys. And uh, welcome to new subscribers. And welcome back to continuing subscribers. Or people who have been with me for quite some time. I love you guys too. You're doing pretty good today. I um, got to go walk. So that makes me happy. And my husband went with me because he's taken the day off. Um got some sunshine so he's like I'm taking a, a day <laughs> because he doesn't usually get to enjoy a whole lot of the summer sorry I'm just trying to figure out how much of this to tear off um yeah he's always you know at work and he works long hours so as most people do that work in hospitals and he never takes vacation time so it's like yeah you should take some time here and there. He, last year he took every Friday in the summer, so that was that was nice. We're not really traveling, so he might as well enjoy it when he can. We're 
trying to save save for a trip next year, hopefully, depending on the world. I, this paper, this is old paper. <laughs> I've had, I don't even know. It's just the goods it's called. I don't know. But anyway, I don't know how long I've had it, but it's not tearing really very well. So I'm assuming it's because it's, you know, paper, it does like get old. And this scrapbooking paper that's a little bit thicker, sometimes it gets kind of kooky. A lot of paper just gets real fragile, but I don't know what it is about the thicker scrapbooking paper, but it just gets weird. In my experience, don't know if that's true for everybody, but I didn't glue this closed yet because I wanted to be able to put something decorative to cover up. And, you know, this is a fairly new book page and it's a recipe pit book and stuff, so it's not something that I really want to show. But I did these um, pockets like this, was it two days ago on the channel? So the day before I did the envelope ones, everybody's out walking today. <laughs> Lots of people walking by. It's cool. Because it's so nice. I mean, we, we went this morning and it was already like 63, I think. We were pretty toasty by the time we got back. And my daughter's just about to where her thing is in California, so I'm very happy about that. They drove all night, those kids. <sighs> Telling you. Stress me out. They do. I, don't know. I like black and white, but I don't want it with that, I don't think. It needs something back there. I think I'm going to put the longer one on the front because it's barely, barely going to make it. And then we'll make a journaling card to go inside. That's um, a little bit shorter. So what are you guys up to? I hope you're enjoying some nice weather. I know, you know, some places it's probably rainy and all that. Just... That springtime thing, you never know what you're gonna get. Could be great, could be not great. Maybe just a little bit more off of there. But hopefully it's nice where you are. I had trouble finding paper to even go with this. I don't know if I want it quite that tall. I think I'll make it a little shorter. The cool thing about this is you could glue it all the way down to a pocket or you could, or um, a page, or you could have another uh, tuck behind it too. So that's kind of a multi-purpose type thing. I don't have any other paper that can go on that. That'll look right. So we might just put like maybe some of this letter type. I think I'll tear. Probably should have checked to see if there was anything else in that magazine, but I didn't, so. I think I'll do that. And then maybe another piece over here. I think that'll be fine. It looks old. And then I'll just trim it up so that it fits right. To this edge. Sometimes it's really easy for me to figure these out, all the challenges, it's not just this one. But, um, and I come up with great ideas and today I feel like I just couldn't, like the mojo wasn't happening, I don't know. I looked and looked yesterday and today and just wasn't feeling it. And this is like one of my favorite things, doing the retro thing. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like I have probably four magazine, four or five magazines, old magazines, and they're getting all the pictures are getting used up. So <laughs> I think I'm just running out of ideas or something. Inspiration has that because sometimes if you just see an image, it just there goes my brain, you know. 
but sometimes it just doesn't come to me. I, I mean, I think that's true for everybody. And I couldn't find good background papers. And yeah, I think I need to get some more retro-y type stuff or maybe do a digital because I it's really hard to find images that you can use in retro is the problem. And when I've looked for them on AI, you know, to find some AI ones, they just don't look right. <laughs> they, look, they look messed up, so. Don't know. Just one of those things. Joey Cardmaker found some great ones for his groovy digital. This one's like fantastic. That will help. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that pocket closed now, and then I'll find some other things to put on there with this car. I kind of, that's about as far as I got, too, was finding the car. And we'll make sure our card is going to fit. You could do a real thin card, too, if you wanted. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. It just needs to dry all the way. Um, you know, like a real narrow card, but I kind of want a little bit more. I'm just going to trim this on the sides a little bit more. Rather than the torn edge. We're gonna put the blue one on here. And I like the lady with her hat and all that. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's a, it's a neat old vintage -y piece or retro piece, however you wanna say it. Okay, I think it's a part. I think they might be too pastel y. I got these to use um, with my ballet set that I just did. I thought these would go nice. I don't think they'll work with this. They're not the right era. <clears throat> Could use a ticket. I do like the blue. I wish I had some orange because it would just go good with that, I feel like. But I don't. I got no orange. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I am back. I got something, got some things together, got my brain together. So I just took a little piece of orange paper, um, stamped 1955 on it using this um stamp and then inked it so that's going to go on there as well so those pieces have to go first and I'm going to use my um barely art glue I just like this uh, little label because it's blue the right color blue Kind of figure out though. I kind of want it like that. And then we're going to put this 
I don't really want to see the 12 because it's 1955, right? I thought I'm gonna use um, glue stick. It's so thin. I'm afraid you'd be able to see the little lines of the Barely Art glue. Those cars are so huge. I, I do remember my, my grandparents um, drove Cadillacs. I mean, they weren't even as big as this, the one they had, but still just mammoth cars. <laughs> and then my husband's dad had, I think it was a Chrysler of some kind. I mean, it was uh, like 80s but it was still, we called it the boat because you'd sit in the back seat and it felt like you were, you know, on a boat or something. It was crazy. Going over bumps. something to back that with. So pink, no, pink won't really go. Blue would be better. I do have some blue. It's not really the right color blue, but it'll work. It will work. have other pieces of paper under well you can but the chances of messing it up are much much more likely but I do it all the time because it's the measuring thing you know that one worked it's those little edges that are tricky Alright, this one's pretty quick, not too labor intensive, but yeah, that was a good use for those type of book page pockets that we did with the envelope punch board. I think the one I did on the envelope punch board, yeah, I had another uh, pocket down here, but you don't have to do that, you can have it you know, but just the one, two. Just fold it up, piece of paper. Put the tab. And if you don't have an envelope punch board, you could just put a tab on it. If you have like one of those tab punches or um, there's places on Etsy where you can buy just tabs already cut out. This is gonna be a little bit short, like we're gonna have to snip the uh, the bumper and the fender there a little bit, but then I have this, this is from Tim Holtz, and then another little sticker that will go on there too. But let's get this down. I'm not gonna put anything like under that because this is too thick to go under this really thin magazine page. I love that dress is just crazy that she's got on. <laughs> Showing off the cars, a car model. I'm just gonna trim that and I know it's sad days, but it won't fit in the pocket if it's any bigger, so. Sorry, car. It'd be fine. That's just gonna go there. Uh, 
And then I have this Daydream. It just seemed good. It would be a daydream to have one of those. <laughs> Cars are so, so much cooler, I, I think. I know everybody has different um, types of cars they like, but I like old cars. Old cars. I'll go in there just like that. And I'm going to stamp right here. We could leave all this stuff and just have it say 1955 again. All right, so there's our retro. I think that's fun and definitely retro. I don't know where I'll use that, but <laughs> you know, something will come along. That's how it works. It just does. Okay, what did I do with, I covered up everything. Oh, it's right here in front of my nose. If it was a snake, it literally would have bit me. All right, so I'm gonna do a journaling card and I've already done something like this just like two weeks ago, but this is what I've, actually, you know what? I could do it on a one of these, I bet, then it would work. We're doing the patriotic thing. And I actually made this smaller by printing two pages to a page. But um, I have, oh, I need to show you guys this because I did finish it or get it listed. So I have, I cut out where is it? This lady was right here. So that one's cut out, but these are all the other ones that you'll get. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. You've been in the nosebleed section the whole time because I paused. I apologize. I forgot to look. I apologize. That was awful. I'll show you that piece again. Hopefully you could see what I was doing. And then I just have, you know, a couple military men, some presidents, you know, just a little sample of some kind of patriotic images. So if you are making a military journal or a patriotic journal or 4th of July journal, <laughs> I was trying to kind of squeeze in all the things. And so these pockets I've made smaller um, on here. So for example, this pocket is like more the full size that you would put on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper folded in half. And I've shrunk it so that, you know, it's a little bit smaller. And then you can shrink it even further like I did um, to put on uh, like a tag or whatever. It, there's some ephemera and then there's some background type pages like this. More, more of that fabric-y look. This one's kind of fun. This one almost reminds me of even like circus or something. And then a flag, an old, old worn out flag. So that is, uh, it's called Patriotic, that kit. And so what I did to get this is I just put two of the pages on one page. So, and I've cut some other stuff off, but anyway. That's how I did that. And I did that in my print to size app. Oh, this won't work. And now I remember why. Sorry. Because <laughs> I have another piece. I want to put the pocket on and then put this like sticking out the side. Actually, I'm going to take these apart because I don't want to lose one of these. But um, there won't be enough room on the uh guess check sorry to brain brain time <laughs> uh. so i want to make sure i get this so it'll fit i don't know why i just have to have that stamp there <laughs> you know how we do Sometimes it just has to be done. 
But yeah, you can put these pockets, shrink them down, print two to a page, whatever, put them on tags, put them on journaling cards like I had done in that other uh, video where I did that kind of patriotic theme. I think that was the color challenge when I did the gold and the star. I did the little cute kids. So yeah, they're, they're fun to do that way because then you've got your journaling card and it's got a little extra writing space with whatever you tuck in there. For this one, I'm going to tuck this young lady in here. She might pop out like that, but I'm going to tear a little bit more off. And you can make your journaling cards whatever size you want. You can make great big ones, you can make um, small ones, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to have to trim this a tiny bit, I think, on either side. I just dropped my stamps. Another discombobulated day. Don't know why. My brain's just going a million miles a minute like it does sometimes. But thank you for hanging in there with me. If you're still here. Okay. So what we're going to do is cut open this little pocket, and I've done this with these, but they're super fun because they have little spots like that where you can make yourself basically another little pocket. And you can cover this on the back if you want to, but I just feel like that's going to be another spot that my tag might get cut up, caught up on, and I think it'll be fine. I don't, I'm not that worried. All I'm going to put in there is this little 4th of July um, Uncle Sam piece. So I can my head do the corners. And this is shrunk down. The one that's in the kit is bigger than this. It just says Uncle Sam's birthday. Um, 1776 July 4th. So that will go in there and we need to make that a little, oh no, it's long enough, that'll go in there and we need something to go on here. Let me see, I'm thinking what I might do is just use the red and white stripes. Um, I might get a little bit of this blue. I'll go that direction. This is the cool thing about these. You can kind of orient them. They could be oriented either direction. I feel like. I mean, obviously the flag is a little better going the right direction, but it doesn't have to. You could still have it in a journal. Yeah, we had a really nice long walk. Our neighborhoods have gotten so big here now. There's so much um, concrete, you know, walking paths and stuff. It's just, that part's nice. Because I do love to go for a walk. one of my good thinking times is when I'm walking. I'm going to put a little something up there. I don't know what yet. But... This will go on here. This will go over here. It's the don't tread on me. I don't know what year. You can't see what year that one's from. But that's pretty cool. It 
It's not a super old one, I know that, but it's just a good one. And then she'll go in here. And I need something up there. Oh. This, this is uh, authentic. Do it that way, or I like that better, just because it's kind of redundant. We got we got lots of stars and stuff, so well, let's have something a little different. And I ripped my card crooked. <laughs> Tear it thinner here. Oh. Tried to tear the whole back off of it there. Yeah, I like that. Voila. Yeah, I feel like last week's pockets and things were a lot more interesting, but I, I don't know. Just couldn't get it together today. It happens. Well, and I tried yesterday, too. <laughs> Just wasn't happening for me. Too many things going on. It's amazing how everything affects that creativity thing. It's just wild. And I know it's probably hanging up a little bit, but I don't care. It's fine. I'm going to put some glue. Um, oh, we need to figure out this needs to go under a little bit. It says don't tread on me. I'm going to turn it this way. And glue. I feel like you could do all sorts of things with these. They're very, just let your imagination go because well, it's sort of endless, all the variations of those that you could do. So that one's in the new patriotic kit and so is the girl and the, the background paper there. Other than this, of course, because that's a scrapbook paper. All right, and then we need to back that. We need to back it up. I think coffee dye will work. This is some real grungy coffee dye, but that's fine. Sorry, you can probably hear the leaf blower. Hubby fan mode. Oh, actually, you know what I think I want to use? Never mind, I changed my mind. I want to use that backing paper. got the flag on it. Right on that that fold line that's on that paper. This paper does have fold lines and things like that in it. It's that's it's supposed to. So it looks like old document folded or something. I 
trying to decide. I think I'm going to do another flip-flop journal for the Patriotic Journal. I did buy some fabric, though. So that made me not sure. Not sure what I want to do. I think it would be hard to cover the outside with fabric. Um, the whole thing. But I could just do, like, a you know, a panel on the cover or something like that. And that would work. Got that wonky dink a dink, dink a dink a doo. That comes from Pinky Dinky Doo. My daughter had that book, so now I say that. <laughs> no, that was a million years ago. All right, um, retro and patriotic. So we've got our little file folder style pocket and journaling card and I'll stitch around these and then patriotic we have a little tuck with a tag and another tiny tag in our pocket so yeah super fun all right guys uh, sorry I I don't know film a little uninspiring today but <laughs> hope maybe you got some idea <laughs> And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for joining me. Chat later. Bye.